Okay, so for today's project, you're going to need your sketchbook or a piece of paper. You're gonna need a pencil with an eraser and you're gonna need something to color with, either crayons or colored pencils. What I thought would be fun is we're gonna talk a little bit about Vincent Van Gogh. But I wanna talk very specifically about a painting that he did called The Starry Night. Has anyone ever seen this painting, The Starry Night, before? It is a very famous painting that he did, and it is known for the color and the brush strokes that he did to show the movement in the sky and the shining stars, okay? So I thought we could take the starry night and we could make the spooky starry night. So we could add some stars in our sky like Van Gogh did, but you could add some spooky things like ghosts or pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns. Did anyone notice this shape? It's from right here in his painting. So I took some of his ideas from his painting and I did my own drawing with some of his ideas. So here's that tree right in the front on that one. And then another one I did, take a look at this one. It's not finished yet, but this one has a haunted house. And you can see this spooky tree here right in the front and the ghosts swirling through the sky and my stars in the sky, okay? So I would like you all to make a spooky starry night and take some of Van Gogh's ideas and put them in your artwork. So you might wanna put the stars, you might wanna put this spooky tree or some of those windy lines in the sky. Okay. There's lots of lots of different ways to draw the bat. There's also not a wrong way to draw the bat and there's not a right way to draw the bat. There's just lots of different ways to draw a bat. So don't think that yours is not correct because it looks different than mine. Here's one way that you can draw a very simple bat outline. I'll do a couple more. So you could do some bats in your sky. Let's try to draw a ghost. If this is helping, you can look up every once in a while to get some ideas. I'm gonna hold it this way. So when I draw a ghost, I don't like to go like this because they're not usually straight lines. Just like the pumpkin's not a straight line, ghosts are very flowing objects. So I might draw some ripples at the bottom like this. And then maybe I'll put some lines in there to give it some texture and some shading. And then I might even draw some lines around it like this, like it's moving. Lots of different ways to draw a ghost, right? You can draw no mouth if you want. Looks good just like that. You could draw a spooky mouth. I always like this one. Draw a smiley face on your ghost. You could draw a very sad ghost, okay? Lots of different ways you can draw things. Let's talk about some trees really quick. So I'm gonna hold it this way now, and let's look at some ways we could draw some trees. 
So I'll put my horizon line in like you all maybe did. And I'm gonna start with my trunk of a tree. Now I notice when I look at trees that they're not just straight up and down like this. Their roots usually come out like this at the bottom of the trunk. So I'll draw it like that to make it look more realistic. And then I'll start branching out up here to show my branches. And it can be a little tricky to draw a tree without any leaves on it, but the more you practice, the better you will become at drawing your trees. So I like to get kind of loose when I'm drawing my branches. I like to let my pen do the work and I kind of just follow it where it goes. Well, I hope you all had fun with your spooky starry night. I'm looking forward to seeing some of your drawings and I hope you all have a safe and happy Halloween.